Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Banjo Tooie. Last episode, we made some real progress in Glitter Gulch Mine. We freed Mary the Canary. We promptly destroyed her in a race, and it was a great time. Anyways, today we're gonna burn al alive. I guess I don't know. The game is telling us to go inside this fiery pit of death, and who am I to deny him? Right? Banjo's flame retardant, isn't he? He's got that special fur. I wonder what's under that big pile of coal in the corner. Maybe it's a jelly. Ah, uh, maybe it's sentient. Yeah, there it is. Old King Cole, the grubby boiler monarch. He's a monarch, really. He's royal. He's, he's a king. Who dares enter Old King Cole's boiler? <laughs> I'm Banjo, and this is Kazooie. We want to use your train. <laughs> You would, huh? In that case, I'll thank you for it. But you're supposed to be a merry old soul. <sighs> Not me, pal. But you'll soon be feeling my merry old soul on the top of your puny head. <laughs> I like that. Oh, goodness gracious. We have limited amounts of time. Uh, fire eggs are not helpful. What about regular eggs? Let's see how you cope with a little heat. Uh, I don't, I don't cope. I'm already, I'm losing oxygen. I've got 130 seconds left, I guess, of heat exposure. Hmm. Uh, well, we pecked at him. Did it do anything? No great loss. I've still got another. Okay, so it is working. Yeah, don't, don't touch me like that. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> I very much would not like to be cooked. And very good. We're, we're doing things. We missed that time. And you peck your little booty there. Probably I don't need arms to beat you. Sure you don't, buddy. Sure you don't. Uh, so it seems that this is actually not going to be as tough as I was initially worried it might be. The whole environmental factors really kind of some significant stress. No, don't you turn it on. Don't turn it on now. I barely had a chance to peck you, boy. How rude. This poor sportsmanship. Merry old soul, indeed. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Oh, no, we've been burned. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We just gotta be a little bit quicker on the draw. Oh, there we go. Just like, oh, my God. <laughs> We pecked him in half. Perhaps we should sit down and talk about this. No. No, we have passed the point for conversation, all right? I don't know how to conversate with a pair of friggin' legs. <laughs> oh, do you even have a mouth anymore? Like, what happened to your, your, your upper half? It just disintegrated. It has been boiled or broiled or baked or I don't know, whatever the method of cooking is inside of this. Dude, I'm, not, I'm never close enough to him now. And I think... Oh, Jesus. Um, chimney Changa. Let's not die. Okay, this is going to be a little bit tougher. Uh, we've only got 30 seconds left. we got to peck him. Did that count? No? Son of a gun! Oh, we've got 20 seconds. My God, this is not... Not going well already. There we go. I think that was it. <laughs> Okay, perhaps I'll let you use my train after all, but uh, don't you dare hit me, then. I've only just polished. Wouldn't it have been easier to avoid this conflict altogether? You crusty old monarch. See, this is the problem with letting your emotions run your business for you. We could have had an agreement. We could have been fine, but instead, I've taken your train and the precious jiggy that was existing inside of your body, too. And I guess I've also rid you of, of the body itself as well. So this was a total loss for old King Cole. I'm not sure how he's ever going to recover from it, but let's hit go. Maybe. There we go. There's no train stations open for my train to load. Oh, no, there we go. So that's what I thought. Uh, the, we, we got a jiggy out of it, which is great, but we don't have anywhere we can actually take the train to yet. We will, presumably, at... Uh, at following stages that we that we open up, I really don't remember that at all, though. Uh, from the the times that I played this many years back, I don't I don't remember riding any trains. <laughs> I remember doing a few things, and that is not one of them. 
So next on my agenda is to head back, I think, towards the beginning. Oh, let's not get bombed. <laughs> head back towards the beginning of the stage because that is where the, the UFO dude was that we had freed, and I'm still intrigued uh, to learn. Oh, hey, look. There's a jam jar. Can we can we do it? Well, what's this up here? What are we at? Well, let's do this first. <laughs> I'm guilty of getting distracted, it would seem. Whoa. This is a briar fox? What is this? A hound, eh? Who might you be? I'm Bill. I'll bet your other name is gold related. What is it? Gold bar Bill? Klondike Bill? No, but boy, I'm Bill's name. That's so. Uh, what's up, Bill? My rodent partner, Dilberta, went looking for gold, but she's been going for far too long. Uh, we'll keep a lookout for her. Not so fast, Pinky. Make sure he makes it worth our while. Mm, Kazooie, ever the bargainer. Oh, okay. Can we have a prize if we find her? You said it folk are all alike. I wonder where she could be. My god, don't worry, buddy. We'll find your your rodent. There they are, in the prison compound. Eek, make sure I came in through a tunnel. I see. Very interesting. So we're going to have to move a boulder, it would seem. Is this the... That is this a doorway? That is a doorway. We'll go in there. But not before we take this man's breakfast. Just got a dozen eggs strewn about. Okay. Into the pits, the crawl space of this house. I'm guessing that this is the... Oh, look, that... Prison... Is this... Mayhem Temple? Mayhem Temple? Sure as heck has the music. Fascinating. Okay, well that's neat. I love how the levels are like connected like this. It's really freaking cool. But it's not something I don't think we can do anything about just yet. Hey, I'm watching you, Shovel. All right. <laughs> I've had arguments with your siblings. And they said to screw off. And I said, gee, thanks. Okay. Uh, so now we can go back to what we were doing, which was going to get the move from jam jars there let's grab some notes just to make sure we have enough right is there any more did i miss any on this little plateau here it doesn't look like it oh kidoki now we can just do this ah, a little reckless but we were uninjured in the process very good hello jam jars uh only 85 yes excellent we have 100 more the bill drill. Well, this makes breaking so much fun. Now listen up to how it's done. Leap high in the air and hold Z, then watch Kazooie spin and drill with her head. Oh, it's hold Z. I see. I see. Okay. So it's just a. Oh, look at that. That's pretty nifty. We're going to be able to get rid of some boulders. And hey, there is notes over here. I'm going to test it on this boulder. Because if that's the case, then I can already think of a few spots in this stage where that will come in handy. Can we drill it? Yes, we can. And we get a honeycomb. An empty honeycomb. Excuse me. Out of it. Very good. And now we're to clean 200 notes as well. So altogether, a very, very profitable experience. I'm glad we took that little detour instead of continuing on to where we were headed, which I believe is this direction still. Uh, I'm slowly but surely gaining a little bit more comfortability here. No, this is not where I meant to go. And there's another mumbo thing. Can we drill this one? Can we drill? No, we cannot drill this. All right, well, we can we can warp back over to mumbo from this. And then we can use his powers on the boulder, I guess. All right there, Mumbo, let's do some rocky magic. Hope this works. You're never too confident, man. You've never failed yet. Have a little faith in yourself, my boy. You levitated a friggin' steam engine. Surely you can pick up this bowler. And you're doing it just fine. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to go inside of the... Whatever, the, the wood chipper, the crusher, the giant mechanical death trap. 
and then then we go in and we turn it on and we we turn out the jiggy that's inside of course we're going to have to revert back to bear and bird form in order to to do that which is you know inconvenient but it's fine wait maybe not this thing's already gone it's already going look at it go look at it do the thing oh my goodness it's getting real close now okay so for a crushing shed there's not a lot of crushing happening uh all of the presses there are staying far away the grinder though is like yes i'm ready ready to chew this thing up okay it's it's been fed very good and now it spits out the jiggy right I'd have to imagine so. We did receive a warning that's like, oh no, it, gosh, it chewed up the jiggy. Oh, giblets, what? What? <laughs> Do we need to get all these? Din, din, it, no? Did we, is it just gone for, okay, we just had to get the three pieces. <laughs> what, what have we done? We've destroyed a precious relic. The authorities will be after us. All right, well, let's go back to bear and bird form. Okay, we are now once again the bird and bear, and we are over by where the UFO guy was at. So now we can go see what the heck that the spaceship, the flying sausage, wants to uh, to deliver upon us. They did mention when we were as the detonator earlier that there was a doorway that was blocked, the opening that they were in front of. I'm not, I mean, it looks pretty open to me buddy but i guess we should go through and check it out or should we speak to them first don't touch me don't touch me no the door is still not open all right well let's go through this and test the doorway for ourselves and then we can get some no that this is not open oh witchy world yes i remember this i remember struggling <laughs> Struggling a lot there. Okay, well, we'll save those struggles for a later date. Obviously, we cannot pass through that uh, steel door, and neither can our UFO friend here. So I'm so sorry, but you're going to have to wait, Just chill out, hang out with the shovels. I'm sure that they can have some uh, interesting opinions on, on mining. Beyond that, they're just defensive. So what else is there for us to get into here? Oh, God. We should probably check the totals. How many are we missing here? Eh, we've only got six of ten. We're also missing two honeycombs, two notes, and three ginger. A whole, a, a, there's a jam jar here, too, still that we're missing. I thought we had already gotten one prior to the one that we just got, uh, but I guess that was not the case. So there's still one of pretty much everything left for us, everything except for glow. Or no, there was globos, wasn't there? Let me double check here just so that I'm all on the same page. No, there's no more Globo. So there are things, everything to get except Globos. Uh, we can go in here now that we have the new move, though. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for more boulders. What is this? Oh, it goes down. I was like, this is just a pit. <laughs> this is a two-foot hole. This is not helpful. Oh, the ordnance storage entrance. All right, it's time to, time to blast. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hey, what's up? Jam jars! We get the second move? We do get the second move. Excellent. Only 95, relatively low buried entry. The beak bayonet. Another use for the feathered freak makes good use of a pointy beak. The bad guys know that it's no joke. Just press me to give them a poke. We'll give them a poke and give... Kazooie a choke because look at this. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to test out the move, man. Excuse me. I'm going to go over here. Goodness gracious. You know, I'm not much of a fighter, but I can't imagine that like ramming your your mouth, your face against things would, oh, would feel very good. But then again, I am also not a bird. So what do I know? Can we do anything about this? You've learned a beak attack, huh? You sure have, partner. Well, maybe you can help me out here. A real nasty bunch of TND sticks have escaped from their box and are going to threaten them to blow up my mind. Don't worry. We'll go in there and blast them. No, no. You shoot one and the whole mine will explode. You'll have to try and defuse them somehow. Uh, anything else? 
Yep, you'll have to be quick, because I'm old as heck, and I'll die soon. And when you defuse the first, then the olders will probably shoot their detonation timers. Okay, so what do we do? We gotta defuse them. How do we defuse them? Do we poke them with our beak? Because that doesn't sound very... Uh, <laughs> friendly. To me, it feels like that would blow them up as well. Uh, sweet music. Sweet music. So, hello. 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 Can I... Oh, uh, yeah, we do poke them. Okay. And the timer has been started. There's 14 left. We went right at the first onset. Uh, let's keep going right. Let's just go right until we can't. Because eventually, like I think we just saw here, we'll reach a dead end. And if we want to really check everything off in a, uh, like a systematic fashion, I think this is the way to go. Otherwise, we're at risk for, for missing things. And we don't want that, do we? No, we don't. We're going to get blown up. It seems that this was the entrance. Okay, back this way. And then we can go up this way. Yep, there is another friend. Hello. Get poked. Thank you very much. I'm trying not to shoot you. I do have an urge to... Uh, my trigger finger is itchy, so to speak. Um, my goodness, this place is pretty big. We've got less than three minutes left. And it looks like... We're done with the top floor. Okay, so we're gonna go down now. Don't touch me, get out of here. I'm trying to defuse the bombs, you boy, can't you see that? Do you want to get exploded? I know you're green and you're probably not too pleased with that, but there's no reason to get in the way of what I believe to be a critical life-saving mission. All right, we've got less than, we've got less than, mm, We've got less than 10 left. Now we have to keep up our pace uh, because we, we've got about 10 seconds per. And there was one. Oh, we can't jump, so that's fine. Eight left, 100 seconds. We can do this. What is that, like 12 seconds per? I just need to get one here before we hit 88 seconds. There's one. Perfect. And I need to get to one before we hit 76. Excuse me, fellas. I'm just going to... Now you can... Yeehaw, your own time, all right? Perfect. Oh, my God. Don't touch me. Let's go to the right now. There is one, and then this is... No, see you later, dude. You're not a friendly follower. Five left. Come here. Come here, buddy. I'm going to poke you. Uh, should we go down here? I feel like this is getting too deep. Okay, this is dead end anyways. It's fine. Perfect. The game was very generous there. I feel like I was a little bit too far away for that to actually count, but it did. We have one minute left, just a hair under, actually, and two to go. So I think we're in good shape. I can hear one bouncing about as dynamite sticks do. Come here, buddy. Thank you. One more. Uno mas. Uno freaking mas. Oh, God. We've been here already. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dude, 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 dude. Not the time. All right? Not the time. 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds and one to go. Gosh, darn it. This is not ideal. We're retracking our steps too much. All right, we need to go. Son of a gun. We need to go back. I feel like this direction is one we haven't gone to. But we have, haven't we? We went down here. Oh, dude, this is bad. We went down there. Nine. Did we go up here? Six. Four. Oh, well, that sucks. We lose! No, with one left. It was... I see it, too. Gosh darn it. My God. Oh! You violence, get out! We still came in that... Oh, my God. Is this gonna be another... <laughs> Are we gonna fail this twice in a row? I can't find the last one. Where is the last one? Oh, there... Oh, <laughs> oh you mine now. Not letting you get away. Good God. Much obliged to you, partners. How obliged are we talking reward here? Well, all I got is this funny-shaped nugget. I reckon you can have that. Beautiful. We crave the funny nuggets, all right? Funny nuggets are something of a, uh, uh <laughs> important thing uh, in our adventure here. And, wait, we can't leave? How do we leave? I don't... Okay. <laughs> when we lost, it just, like, teleported us out. I guess we just go back and up? No, not over here. This does not help. What the heck, dude? 
You crazy old prospector, you locked me in your mind, man. You're probably the same person who is trying to asphyxiate poor old Canary Mary, huh? Now you're going to do the same to us. Uh, I think if we go over to the right here, though, there's a ramp. Yes, there is. And then if I remember correctly from my two experience... Well, is it maybe this up? Is this it? Is this, is this the thing right here, maybe? Maybe this looks promising-ish. Yes, this is the exit. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, that was honestly not where I thought it was. I'm glad that we stumbled across the exit, though, because I... It's getting a little claustrophobic. Um, I'm not super claustrophobic in my actual life, but I don't know. Sometimes these things can, can come on to you. All right, there's one more Jiggy acquired. That's 7 out of the 10 in this stage, and I think we're done in this region, so we'll exit it entirely. And we'll figure out what's, uh, what's to come. All right, so three more Jiggies. Assuredly, they're going to be related to the boulders right we've only but crushed three i think with our with our new move new ish move um so i guess we'll explore <laughs> that's the only thing we can do and exploring's fun so that's cool oh goodness i'm burping we have we gone this way what's over here let's just double check right you can never be too sure especially when you're not super familiar with the uh the region itself specifically. Nope, we have been here, but we did not destroy these. Maybe someone is coughing inside of them. Maybe the rocks themselves are coughing. I don't know if that's possible, but anything's possible in Banjo friggin' Kazooie. We got two more. Be able to increase our life, I think. Some feathers. One more. Let me just get on top of it. Let me mount this rock here. Uh, just a regular old thing. Um, we're about to die, so I'm going to leave and come back in. I had to take a breath. But I really want to figure out who the heck is coughing in here. Like, what is happening? Someone is coughing. Is, there, is that just what, what Kazooie sounds like? <laughs> Kazooie goes from hold oh, house to <laughs> Kazooie's got asthma. It's very sad. Uh, let's read the sign again. Maybe that will help us. Um, no, it doesn't help us at all. That's yeah. That's something we've already dealt with. Man, the oxygen goes quick. All right, I don't. I, I'm having a hard time figuring anything out there. So we're just gonna not waste any more time dealing with it. The other direction we can go is back over beyond the chomper or whatever this is, the crusher. Well, what's up here? Oh, what was up top of this? We know that one of the jiggies is like on this waterfall right there, like underneath it. I don't know how we get out of the waterfall though, so maybe, maybe we'll come across that by going back down into here. Um, now that I have that that crushing move with the to, to destroy the rocks, I have a new perspective that can be applied to this region. Um, I hadn't been previously looking at anything like that, so mm, I'm not seeing any boulders, man. No boulders here. Any anything down there? There's a treble clef down there, but this water looks like it would kill me. Whatever, let's do it. For the sake of the adventure. Yes, just bathe yourself in this hideously toxic water. It's freaking orange. <laughs> like, that's not a friendly color for water to be. Like, no thanks, man. That probably means there's some sort of disgusting bacteria thriving in there. Not necessarily something that I am excited to have subjected myself to. But whatever. Hey, we got the, we got the trouble cleft, so we can't really complain, can we? And now we get to see if there is anything else out here. The waterfall cavern. Uh, we could go over there. But we have to come back out of that water up there. Well, look at that. There's a there's a Kazooie thing, but we can't do anything about that yet, I don't think. I think we need the move to do that. Because we certainly haven't been taught, hey, this is how you destroy giant friggin' rocks with your face on it. <laughs> uh, in the game, while it uh, definitely didn't hold our hands 
in regards to like the pre-existing Banjo Kazooie moves, it definitely walks us through all of the new moves, and that is something that I don't believe happened in Banjo Kazooie. We didn't have any underwater boulder smashing, so yeah, I'm gonna have to gonna have to assume that that's something we have yet to learn. Anyways, let's find a potential entrance back up into that tall waterfall room because we did go there last episode and we got a jiggy out of it is this is this it right here what is this maybe this is potentially no oh hey oh hey another explosive keep out you say well i'm going to not do that <laughs> now that we've been properly humbugged Let's blow this friggin' thing up. Let's, 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 there we go. Let's blow this friggin' thing up and go inside exactly where we're not meant to. Can we do it as the detonator or do we need to be the barren bird? We probably need to be the barren bird. But I don't know that for a fact. Let's investigate. Oh, flooded caves. Oh god, yeah, no swimming. We only blow ourselves up. Okay, we definitely need some uh, some fur and feathery action for this. And man, using the uh, the teleport pads is immensely helpful because I, I can't imagine how long that would freaking take if I didn't have the ability to just warp back and forth between those two locations. Uh, okay, so first room here in the flooded caves looks to be largely unconsequential. Uh, we'll head back. Let's grab a quick breath of, breath of air, just in case we don't have any here through tunnel number two. And what? Well, we've got another choice to make. Let's go to the right on this one. Hopefully it's the right call. No, survey says it was not. I mean, maybe, because there's another choice. So we went straight, right, then north, and this at least got us air. Uh, there's a bunch of people doing weird things in the dark over here. Anything else? No, don't swing at me. It looks like that's all that's here. Okay, well, uh, back in the water. See you later, guys. I'd very much love to to hang out and talk about cowboy hats with you, but I've got places to be. Can't you see? And let's go this way now. It looks like this is something of a of like a grid system. We'll go directly across and see what this gives us. We'll probably get a right. Yep, we get a right. Can't go up. And ooh, this is a different kind of tunnel. It's got like a little kink in it. It's a, a kinky tunnel. Huh? <laughs> and what is this? Hmm. Another local. This looks vaguely familiar to me. I don't I don't think we've been here, but something. Oh! We have absolutely freaking been here. Interesting. So this is how we get over here. <laughs> we, we got over here. We've, we've flown over here before, and I had half a mind to fly over here now, but fascinating. So why is this important? Because we could have always got into the flooded caves. Why was it important for us to access the flooded caves from the, the, the direction that we did access them from? It's very strange. So now let's go straight down the center. And this... No, this is nothing. Just a lonesome honeycomb chilling out there. Very interesting. Yeah, that's very strange to me that this is not a thing at all. We're gonna... Oop, oop, we're gonna die. We're gonna friggin' drown. Let's get stuck on the piping, of course, first. But now let's just head... Ugh, I'm so indecisive. What's gonna be the quickest air? I think it's over here. Got two bubbles left. Two bubbles left. Can we make it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we're going to be fine. Perfect. Yeah, I know that was a close one, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, drowning doesn't sound like a great time to me. So we've checked out all of this, have we not? I guess we can confirm that real quick. Eggs. There's nothing here for us. Okay. We go back this direction. If we take a left, I think we're in the very direct center of all of this. And we already checked out that direction, which is to the right of us. Weird. What am I missing here? 
This one was nothing, too. This was the first direction we tried to go when we got into this cavern system. At least it makes sense that it, it seems familiar to me, because we definitely have been in these... In these, in these, uh, these flooded caverns. Um, I don't know what we're doing beyond, like, pruning our hands and feet. Ridding all of our, our body oils into the, into the water. But we're not actually making any progress with anything. And then this, just to clarify, yeah, that's the tunnel that takes us back to the, the bird boulder. Hmm. So this is nothing. This is nothing at all for us. This is just... I mean, maybe it is something, but at a later time, right? Like, it's nothing right now. And it's it's interesting to me. It just seems like a, a route between the two locations, right? Which doesn't really make any sense to me. So there's definitely got to be something more at play here. Something that I am just not picking up on. It's wild. Well, hey, you know, we all know I'm not the most perceptive boy, but gosh darn it, I would like to think that I'm capable of picking up on... <laughs> On some things, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I really have no idea, but we did accomplish a few things and I think I'm ready at this point to move on to the next stage. Uh, I think I think it's time to head back to, uh, to the temple, check out the crystal jiggy and see where we're off to next. And I, that, I think that's the operative word here, the keyword, so to speak, next, because we're going to do all that next time. So thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I look forward to seeing you then. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yep, my eyes do not deceive me. I saw a friggin' Cheeto scroll. Can we get it from here? Is that how we do this? We gotta climb ever so slight. Yes, very good. All right, well, we accomplished one more thing. Five pages at last. Come and see me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain, and I'll tell you your first secret sheet. Ooh. Well, we'll do that next time, too. Ha! Huh, thank you.